All right, guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. I just found out that I've got a box again from Relink Medical, and I'm getting ready to head on out to Omaha to come and check out the symposium out there. It's supposed to be some good fun. And I just found that I got another box from Relink. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got going on over here. All right, let's see if we can do this properly without making too much of a mess, right? I have no idea what's in this box. Sorry for the moving. All right. That should work right there, right? Okay, let's see, what do we got? This is a much smaller box than the other one. You know what they say, good things come in small packages. Whatever's in this box, they definitely secured it. Oh my gosh, what a good surprise right before I head off to uh, the symposium. We're actually heading to the airport like right now. What? Is this what I think it is? This looks like... Looks like a module. What is this? You guys are probably just waiting for me to cut myself with the knife, aren't you? Wow, they definitely packed it well enough. Alright. Let's see, here we go. Okay. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is like something that I do to my family members at Christmas time. You know, play jokes on them. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? I don't know what module it is. Okay, I feel the IUI ports. <laughs> it's solid black. Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. Wow, you guys, now they're just playing jokes on me. Okay. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. All right. And I'm glad they sent this particular one to me because one of the things I want to highlight is the problems that are going on with these and some of the things that, uh, some of the things that we can do to prevent it. Very cool. All right. I got a module. Yes. And let's see what else we got. Got a cord of some sort. Don't know what that is. Is that a, is that a regular power cord? I honestly don't know. Let's go on this side so we can do it this way. <laughs> that is not a power cord. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm still open. Guys, yeah, this is... <laughs> this is unexpected. Oh! <laughs> cool! Oh my gosh. Alright. Guys, this is a glide scope camera. It's an intubation scope. Very cool. Can't wait to see... What we can do with this. Very cool. Glide scope. Oh man, there's a bunch of stuff in this box. Alright. Oh, let's see. Oh, my. So all the stuff that's in this box is all stuff that Relink Medical deals with daily. So uh, if you see any of this kind of stuff and you have it broken or whatnot, you talk to them. I'll leave their contact info in the description of this video. Because obviously if they're sending it to me, they have it on hand so they can help you guys out. Wait, this, this shape is very familiar. Oh, yes. Heck yeah. Okay, 
Well, this, guys, is a Philips module. And there's some interesting things about uh, what I'm seeing on a few of these devices that I want to share with you guys right now. You see all these warranty void if removed stickers that medical equipment companies put on their devices? See, there's one right there. There's one right there. That's illegal. It's illegal. So uh, the Copyright Office uh, just last year, I think, they went forth and they said that uh, these stickers here are unconstitutional. And there we go. The, I see those more and more on medical devices. So the way the, the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act goes is they say that if you have a failure, the people that are responsible for that warranty have to prove that the failure is completely related to that third party service or that third party part. So you can't just open this up and now the warranty is void. It doesn't work that way. Basically, they have to prove that you opened it up and through either malicious or negligent uh, acts caused further damage to the device. So all of these little third party stickers, they're unconstitutional and they're illegal. Interesting. And I had to do over a hundred hours worth of research. Very cool. Nice power cord. Um, I had to do over a hundred hours worth of research in order to do the speech that I'm giving tomorrow in Omaha on uh, the right to repair and the history of right to repair, which is, uh, I'll tell you, over a hundred hours of research um, and that feels like it was nothing. <laughs> I mean, I could have easily spent a thousand hours uh, when you start getting into contract law and you start getting into things like uh, uh, copyright interpretations and stuff. Very, very crazy. What is this one? Okay, I have no clue what this one is. The other ones I kind of had a clue based on the shape. This one here, not at all. All right. Okay. I still have no clue what this thing is at all. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's a glide scope, a full-on glide scope, guys, for that camera that I just <laughs> stacked stuff on top of. How cool is that? Nothing else in the box. I want to make sure I'm not throwing anything away. Very cool. All right. So now that I've completely made a mess of my office. Oh my gosh. So here we go. Wow. <laughs> All right. This is such an awesome surprise. Right before I head to the airport. So we've got a glide scope with a glide scope intubation camera. You know, they use this device when uh, they're checking for difficult airway. You know, there could be obstruction, swelling, all sorts of stuff. Um, plus you wanna make sure that your intubation tube, the, the ENT tube, you wanna make sure that the, it goes down and is properly placed around the larynx, which is why you use this little camera. Very cool. This is one of those technologies that's come a long way in the last 10 to 20 years. Very cool. Very excited. Philips module. This is because I got that Philips uh, monitor that came with the last box. This means that now I can test it as a system and there are a lot of little intricacies on this. We're going to tear this guy apart. It's going to be so cool. And guys, I have an Alaris pump. This one here is clearly got a few issues, but that's okay because that's one of the things I want to highlight to you guys. Um, more importantly, it's got all the ports and stuff necessary so that we can hook it up to the brain, which is, was in the other box that I received from these guys. And uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, hook this guy up and see what its real problems are. And uh, that's gonna be a fun set of videos. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. 
Thank you so much for the guys over at Relink Medical. I'm going to leave their information in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. And they do auction sales. They, they do used medical equipment. More importantly, they buy used medical equipment. They travel around the country and they pick up en masse all your used medical equipment at various facilities. It's a cool program. It's an unusual biomed job and I like highlighting it because it's one of those careers that can go in multiple directions. And obviously there is a huge market for used medical equipment and uh, you're seeing just a piece of it right here. So anyway, thanks for watching guys.